All right, we have some more drama out in the desert. Another former teammate of Arizona Cardinals quarterback, Kyler Murray, calling him out saying he needs to grow up. He needs to be the leader. Less than ideal words of encouragement for the 25-year-old franchise quarterback. And it's just another person with a litany of them coming out and saying how Kyler Murray is the problem and the Cardinals have absolutely taken their franchise. I'm going to break this thing down, but if you could first drop a quick like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. New videos every single weekday. Let's get into it. All right, so Kelvin Beecham, former offensive lineman, of the Arizona Cardinals pending free agent. I mean, this man was his center. Center quarterback duos, usually pretty tight. You got to work some stuff out. You got to know the offenses. You got to get all the signals going. So it's usually a pretty tight relationship. But he was talking on talk, a sports talk radio in Arizona on Wednesday and gave some harsh comments on Murray. Now, he did walk them back a little bit. He was asked about what Murray needs to be do, what Murray needs to do to be great. And he just simply responded, grow up almost instantly. And that's a huge thing. He needs to grow up and be a leader of men. That makes a lot of sense. Now, he did walk it back a little bit. Like I said, he said, I didn't say he wasn't a leader. It's a continual process. He just needs to grow up and continue to be that leader. But this is the knock on Kylo Murray. Going back to his high school recruitment, it's daddy's boy. Daddy runs the show. Daddy is in charge. I mean, the awkward exchange on Dan Patrick before the draft. Are you going to play baseball? Are you going to play football? NFL football feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to bait you to make a decision. I just want to know how that felt. That's a, it's it, different it, than a college it, it football. It needs to be broken a little bit. A little more. bit? Yeah. All right. A lot more. Well, you can do that your rookie year. Wait, are we not going to get along here if I do this? I I, I want to make sure. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, all right. Uh, are you going to the combine? I don't know. Well, wait, wait. Dad, is he going to the combine? No comment. Dad had no comment there. Pro day? I mean, that's after the combine. Yeah, are you going to do a pro day? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess if you want to say, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. You can have a pro day. Wouldn't answer. Looked over at his dad in the crowd. I mean, he's not a leader of men. I think this is very, very obvious. We've had multiple ex teammates, multiple guys come out. Patrick Peterson last season said, only person Kyler Murray cares about is Kyler Murray. He took offense to that. He fired back at Peterson, saying he was just saying that for views and clickbait. And Peterson said they're going to blame C Cliff Kingsbury for Kyler. They were 4-8 and eight at the time, the Cardinals. They didn't win another game the rest of the season. And now this is a big, big task ahead of Kyler. He's coming off of ACL surgery towards ACL. He missed two games prior to tearing his ACL, missing six in total. Let miss the last four with that ACL tear. So this is a huge comeback season for Kyler. He got the $230 million contract last offseason. And the big headline from that one was that they put a little clause in there that he had to study X amount of film, spend X amount of time doing film and stuff like that. They ultimately removed it after the backlash. But Man, even Kyler came out and said, I'm not going to be a guy that kills himself watching film. Like, that can be true, man. Just don't say that. You're too busy, too more interested, honestly, playing Call of Duty and streaming online than being an NFL quarterback. You're not a leader. Yes, you're very talented. Arizona gave him that contract because he has all the weapons to be a superstar quarterback. But man, his attitude is cancer. I hate his sideline looks. Everyone seems to be drained from him. Energy suck hole. It's a disaster. And he's he just seems to not care and blame everybody else. You can't be a franchise quarterback in this league and be that kind of guy. So they gave him that $230 million contract way sooner than they need to. I didn't even talk about how Kyler was threatening to hold out, deleting all Cardinal stuff off his social media a year early. Probably should have been getting this deal this offseason. But hey, good on him. He got his money. He tore his knee. And now there's not any question marks. It was another disastrous season. He was very mediocre last year before he was injured. 14 touchdowns, 7 picks. Not great. I mean, 66% completion. 
whoop de freaking do and obviously a terrible record on top of it. Now, the team wasn't super talented around him. We all kind of know that. But they're going to blame Cliff Kingsbury for this. I don't think Cliff wanted to keep Kyler around. He was not okay with giving him this contract. He knew he would end up being the fall guy. And that's what happens when you tie your horse to a guy who is not it. It's that simple. If you put all your chips in one basket at quarterback who's not it, it blows up in your face. So Murray's coming off the ACL injury, says he isn't dedicated to the film watch. He plays with like an aloofness that is not good. And you got former teammates calling him out about being a leader and not being a grown up. So Kyler Murray, can he get this figured out? Can he stop being a pain in the ass? Actually give a shit about football, not being daddy's boy, not let daddy run his life and actually try and do something. It's yet to be seen. I don't know, but it's a huge off season for Kyler Murray. When he comes back, he's got to prove it. Or I could very well see the Cardinals trying to dump him, trying to move on. And honestly, who would want to touch a guy who's undersized, has gotten hurt the last few seasons and seems to not kill himself for the game? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is Kyler Murray going to have a bounce back year? Is he the reason why the Cardinals are going to be dog shit forever? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share this video with your friends, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.